describe how you could use a single array to implement three stacks. So in this example, we will be putting three stacks into an array that does not resize. Here's our class, three stacks. Here's a property size to hold the size, an object array to hold the three stacks, an integer array stack tops that hosts the three pointers to the tops of the three stacks, all initially negative one as each stack is empty. Here's our constructor, three stacks, that takes in a size and then multiplies the size by three to get the size of the array. So if we pass in a size of 10, we will have an array with a size of 30. So this one array can host three separate stacks that are all 10 objects long. Here's our push method for the stack. It simply takes in the value like normal and a stack number to determine what stack we are pushing to. We then look at our references to the tops of each stack, and then we get the top of the current stack, add one to it, and compare it to the initial size. If it is greater than the initial size, then we cannot add any more to the stack, and so the stack is full and we throw an exception. Otherwise, we can add more to the stack. In this case, we're using stack zero, and so we would increment the top of stack zero in our references to the stack tops. Then we need to set the value at the proper index of our array. We can get the proper index by passing in the current stack number, which is zero, multiplying it by the size of the array, which we initialized to 10, and then adding our position in the current stack. In this case, zero times 10 plus zero is zero, so we put the value at position zero in the array. Next, if we wanna pop an item off the top of one of our stacks, we simply pass in which stack we wanna pop the item off of. If the reference to our current stack's top is not equal to negative one, then there are items left in that stack. Otherwise, we throw an exception saying that we cannot remove any items from the stack because there are no items in that stack. Here's our array holding all three of our stacks. Since we are popping off of stack zero, we must remove the last item added to stack zero, which was S zero of number three. So we get our stack position the same way we did before. Take the stack number, multiply it by the size of the stacks, and then add the pointer to the top of the current stack. In this case, we get two. As you can see, we got back the value S0 of three. Next, in our stack tops reference array, we must decrement the reference to the top of stack zero from two to one. As you can see, the reference to the top of stack zero has been set to one, and then we return the value that we found. Our peak method works in a similar fashion. We take in the current number of the stack, we calculate our index, and then we return the item at the current index of the array. We can check if the current stack is empty by passing in the stack number and then getting the reference in the array of stack tops. If it is equal to negative one, then the stack is empty. As you can see, we created the object three stacks, which hosts three stacks, each of them being 10 long, so we have an internal array of 30. We push strings of one, two, three onto each stack. And then afterwards, we loop through each stack and pop them off. And then we got three, two, one for each stack back.